Hello, marhaba ya shabab. Welcome to a new part. So in the last part, we added unit tests for fetching a specific ID uh, task by ID. And for instance, if you want to check if everything is still right, just adapt the test and for instance, just check for uh, test description, description, and you just say description. Uh, this is nullable, of course question mark, then run again all tests. And as we expected, one task failed. The one we just um, adapt here with the assert equals. And as you can see, it, the description doesn't, it, it's not the same because our description is, let me just, our description is here and here, and here's our description, finishmedium.com tutorial. Okay, with that in mind, I just remove all of this, remove all of this, roll back, create a new branch for you, 25, and say, okay, now we are good to go, and new test. Now we want to test, um, because in the medium.com article, I test for patch, for updating a um, task. Now we are testing for creating a task post request. Let's say again, test. And by the way, by end of this uh, tutorial series, I mean, by the end of this tutorial, you will see all the tests for task repository implementation. Okay, now I cannot find, where, where was it? Ah, here it is. Uh, couldn't find the proper um, scrolls. Uh, when post request, then check for uh, success response. Let's call it just when task post request and check for success response. Okay. Okay. Same drill as before. We need a JSON. But get JSON string. Of course, if when we do the request and the response is a task fetch response, but here we have to give it our task post request. This one here. Okay, sorry, I just had to sneeze. I hope you didn't hear it because I was muting my microphone. JSON is equals to JSON. Okay, uh, expected task. Task fetch response. Just say JSON from JSON. First parameter, first argument is a JSON. And then, of course, again, our task fetch response. Okay, my ID, my, think my, MacBook is getting a little bit tired. This are given. And of course, again, mock web server. Say on queue. Mock response. Set body. The body should be again, file reader. And of course, parentheses. And here we have just our constant to pass. And yeah, and then we say we just want to have the content. And that should be it. Run blocking. 
we start again with when when actual when actual task let's take our object under test we want to create a task when we create a task we just take the create request and we want to extract the data we don't want a few type so we get task fetch response and this is nullable of course as you might know already know so now we come to our then and asset equals expected task is equal to actual task okay now run all of this everything went successful now just if you want to test against something just test for description and say description should be i don't know test and see if it's still right or wrong should be wrong of course and here the description the expect is create view app but where does this come from create view app our create request has just by homos ah wait post request task json because we are um we are enqueuing this one and as you can see this is the one yeah because it doesn't matter what we pass in here it doesn't matter what we pass in here we always will get this kind of json this is the power of mocking yes yes make this again actual task okay okay now let's uh, test again for http exception mm, let's just okay copy more copy this stuff in here okay and we say you want to check for HTTP exception. Oh, okay. And to be honest, we can copy stuff again. Where is it? We can copy it from here. Uh, we can copy the given. Given. And now at the run blocking mm -hmm. here we can again say when and here we just need to just, just copy this we expect few states we are expecting a few state of task fast response and this goes away and this is good now okay okay now we can again say then this should give us an error because as i said mm, where it is create task uh, it's from the task repository but if you go to the implementation here the handle exception gives us returns as a few state error okay let's close again everything assert true actual result uh, actual task sorry no it's actual task sorry <laughs> actual task is few state error okay 
now we can again copy stuff. This we can copy again. Just maybe just this is a result, so let's rename it to result. Okay, let's run the tests. Okay, 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 good. One more method. So, and again, let's copy this part and test for unknown exception. So, okay, okay. And here we can copy again from the other method. We want to have a exception. And just wait a second. I just I will just rename this to custom. Just yeah, just I don't know. Let's call it custom exception. I'm not so great at naming on the fly. Normally I rely on my co-workers on the on the pull request that they make some naming improvements. <laughs> uh, okay. Now say run blocking, say run blocking. Uh, now we want to have again an actual result. Uh, let's say when and we can also copy, copy, copy this one. Mm -hmm. Forget to copy some stuff, but yeah, I don't want to confuse it. I will just write it out. Um, so we have the actual message. We say, mm -hmm. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm just, uh, okay. I'm, uh, first we are so true. I do then. And then we say, well, actual message. We cast, we do casting now. Message, and here we go. Okay, okay, okay. Let's run this again. I made a mistake somewhere because it loads too long for me, if you ask me. Ah, okay. Ah, read timeout. Okay. Something went wrong here. Ah, okay, let me just check. Ah. I can tell you why, because I'm using the object under test. I need to use the mock repository, of course. And I'm using what I'm doing here. Ah, that's another thing. You shouldn't um, copy so much and be careful when you do. Let's, okay, let's start here. Create task, say any parameter. And now we are good to go. I hope so. Give and when done. And now let's run again. All the tests should be Good now. Now everything is green. That's great. That's great. And one more thing what we can do right now is to go to Java or yeah, or here, doesn't matter. 
say run test with coverage now we can see if we are covering something mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. okay mm, we have written tests for our repository let's look into it mm, as you can see oh, I, th I think I did something wrong here I don't know where uh, I don't know where it is showing this something I think my ID has an error currently but uh, rem yeah ignore the red squiggly marks in here you see we have some green lines we covered get task by ID we covered create task and we covered this logic actually for the next or you just have to test once because the wrapper you don't always have to test uh, the HTTP exception or the unknown exception, I did it that you get a feeling that all the unit test writing is a little bit repetitive, and but you still should do it. Um, yeah, always when you write two unit tests, take a look at your actual class you want to write tests for. Here, this is all wrapped up in perform safe API call and take a look at uh, perform safe API call your actual method what is going on here and handle success few state success handles exception few state error and on the unknown exception we just log something and just give it a few state error and that's how it is um, yeah that's how you write unit tests as I mentioned when I finish this now I will um, you will have all the tests for also for um, for updating, for deleting, uh, fetching all the tasks, and yeah, so that you know. And yeah, see you in the next tutorial. I mean, after this, in here in 25, you will see in this branch all the tests. And from the next tutorial on, we will write unit tests for the few model. So, I hope you liked it. If you have questions, if I have confused you, write me a comment. Otherwise, like and subscribe. See you in the next video. Ilalikaya, shabab.